Hey guys, Jason the X for SCNS Live, the super cool nerd show, and I am here with a figure review. I know it's been a while, guys, but to be honest with you, I need to be better uh, in a better place um, financially to really start doing these again, and I am, fortunately, so things are going to start looking up again, and I couldn't help but treat myself, and I had to pick up the NECA. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie figures, the original movie. And these guys are probably, they're actually, there's no probably. They're going on my best of the year, without a doubt. No doubt about it. These are best of the year. They're so good, so nice. I'm pretty sure they've made a number of people's top 10 for the year. But enough of my talking. Let's get to reviewing these guys. I'm so happy to get them. I do have to give a special shout out to my buddy, uh, Brandon. He hooked it up on these. He had an extra set. I bought them off of him. And I'm very happy with them. So anyway, if you look, uh, well, here's the box that they come in. It's a very, very large box. Fit all four turtles. But if you look right here, while it does look like the cover, if you follow me on Instagram, at JasonTheX, you really should. You'll know that I kind of did this position right here, this pose, because those are the action figures in that pose. They are not, this is not from the movie. That is straight up the action figures. And you gotta love that. You gotta love it. On the top of the box, you've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You got a little Nickelodeon thing there. The figures on the side. And I'm sorry I gotta shoot up like this. I'm, I'm experimenting with this new uh, setup. And when you know, you got Donnie on the side, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You got another picture of Donnie. Kind of weird that Donnie gets two uh, shots there. You get one of Raph there. And another one of Donnie. Hmm. Who was he? You know. Getting all the, getting all the time on the box. And you got uh, Leo and Raph up there. I love the reviews on here. Pixel Dan, who's actually going to be in Dallas this week uh, at Retro Palooza. I might have to go down and uh, see that guy. Never has there been a better set of action figures based on the original TMT motion picture. Uh, I love one from the Foosh, the Foosh.com, great website. God, I love having these turtles. These movie turtles instantly became the best team collection from TMT ever. Um, <laughs> Zack Ryder, woo woo woo, you know it. I don't know if anything will ever top the movie turtles. I'm talking any line, any company, they are just perfect. And uh, the rest is just other things. I love the reviews on the back. These are great. Um, at the bottom on the credits, they actually have the people that participated in the making of these figures, which is pretty cool. So overall, guys, I mean, I'm gushing. I'm really gushing. Um, it's a really great set. This is just a slide on. And inside the box is just a uh, plastic shell. Everything's in there. Nice background. I did not get the one that had the um, the background, though. I mean, I wish I had. These guys went so fast. So anyway, let's bring them back in. We've got uh, Raph here. We've got Leo. We got Donnie. And most importantly, we got Mikey. Man, these guys—they are just so good. Um, I'm gonna go. The articulation is pretty much the same on them. So we're going to pick one and uh, kind of show off the articulation and we'll show off that turtle while we're at it. Uh, one thing they do come with, I, I want to get that out of the way, accessory wise, go ahead and put the guys in the back here so you can see them. So they come with um, sets of bandanas that are a little bit more dynamic. I know I've changed out Rass, but you've got like a Mikey's bandana here, a little bit more uh, motion, Donnie's and Leo's. I believe this is the one that came with Raph, and as you can see, it's a little bit more relaxed, whereas the one that I put on his head um, has that split design. And these peg on fairly easy. I will be careful um, doing these. Do not twist them. Just plug them. Because I already saw it stress a little bit, and I knew immediately I was doing the wrong thing. So you just want to peg it on there and just push it in. There you go. So you have his more kind of relaxed bandana there. So you get four of those, you get eight sets of hands, well, four sets of hands. I guess eight, considering they actually have the hands that are made for holding their weapons. But you do get various ones where, you know, you saw these on the cover, you know, various pointing um, for holding things that they come with. Especially these hands that are kind of notched just a little bit. And what you can do with those, like I said, they, they, there's a thumbs up hand. This high-fiving hand, another hand that suspiciously, suspiciously looks like it can hold something. You can get a couple people doing a high-five here, so you get two high-five hands. 
and uh, you get another thumbs up. So you can get a double thumbs up there. So yeah, and of course, like the weapon holding hands, you get a, uh, a TCIR container, TCRI. And on the side, you got the radioactive material. I'm sorry to not have that on camera. Let me get the radioactive material, and there's the TCIR emblem. Pretty cool. Uh, it's even got a break in the canister where the ooze would have come out. And that's actually molded in there, not like a stick or anything. So already, this is pretty cool. And the best accessory, you get Tile Game Pizza. We all know what this is. Better delivery. It's got a coupon. Coupon. Let's see. Extra large, three topping pizza for only 13 bucks. That is a bargain right there. And inside the box, it looks all beat up and everything, but you get a full pizza. Eight slices, two each for the boys. You got a little bit of, you know, the pizza slices. A little bit close up look on those. So many food items. Like I bought that 20 pack of food items that were selling on Amazon that all the collect, all the reviewers were getting. Looks like you got some green pepper, some sausage, and some mushroom. Good choice, boys. Good choice. And like I said, you can take these hands like these, and there you go. They can snack on some pizza. And I will demonstrate that with one of the figures, um, just so we can see the hand popping gimmick. But uh, we're going to go with my favorite turtle. It was Mikey. It was always Mikey. Let's get his uh, chucks out of his hand. We'll take a look at those separately. We'll kind of look at the figures and then um, go into the articulation. There's Mikey's head. Look at that head sculpt. Look at those flesh patterns on there, the spots, the eyes, this open mouth. I, I mean, I can't say enough about these guys. They're so good. The design on the shell, you've got his distinctive belt. The elbow pads. Now, the belt is not fixed on there. It does kind of move around a little bit. I don't know if that's, um, it was supposed to be glued or anything. But it is kind of a soft, rubbery plastic. You got the uh, designs on the shell. Kind of a little bit of texture on this guy, too. In front of the belt. There's his turtle crotch. You can see more of those like spots on his skin. I love the uh, the arm wraps, the detail on there. You got the laces that go through the holes right there, going down to his knee pads. You got the muscle definition. I mean, these look just like the costumes. You got more of those uh, eyelets for the laces, going down to the feet, ending in that two-toed appearance that they had. Nice articulation. You got pegs in the feet. I don't know if the base came with any pegs put on there but man look at Mikey he looks so good and we can take his nunchucks here and you can put them now uh, about his weapon is an accessory these are just uh, little pieces of thread but they have glue on them they're octagonal chucks I love you it looks like some burned rattan wood I may have said that wrong the rattan wood but the um, one downside is that this is glued so there's not really a lot of motion that you can get out of this this is very static uh, it's hard to get him with the chucks like over his shoulder or underneath his shoulder or under his armpit. So you can't really accomplish that. But what you can do is take them and we're just going to put them right there in his uh, waistband, much like the movie. The same chuck on is, um, well, same type of nunchuck. This one has less glue on it, but you can't get it totally straight. It can only stay like this. And that's a little disappointing, but you know what? It's, it's a small price to pay. It probably will help in the long run with keeping that thread um, staying in um, <laughs> in one piece and not tearing up. So it's kind of protective. Mine does have a little bit of uh, a paint scuff there, but I'm only showing it off because that's just a it's a small small thing. So on to Donnie, and Donnie does have a downside to him. I'm gonna go ahead and get his. Hey, come on. Hey, stay there. Stay there. Thank you. So here's Donnie with his bow staff. His strap was always that high in the movie. Can't say that was my favorite thing about it. And looking at his accessory, it is his very familiar bow staff. Once again, got that kind of rattan wood there. You got the little wrappings here. That is a sculpt on there. And a pretty good size uh, comparing him to the figure. That's about, that's about right. I remember when they were like looking at the shredder, you know, I bet he has never looked for a can opener and Donnie like looks over and laughs and that's about where that staff was. So now the downside is that Donnie does not have a place to keep his staff. I mean, he's got 
what looks like now this is this is strange to me because you see these little holes right here those are by design that like there should have been something there to hold his staff on there and uh, I don't know how they got missed a couple people have complained about that I mean it's not that big a deal I guess but he can't really store his staff you can you can put it in the belt but I don't want to stretch it out so I just leave it to the side he's gonna be holding it anyway so back to Donnie's face he has a, a distinctive look different from Micah he's got more of the beak kind of more of an overbite but the purple design once again great job on the eyes on this guy look at that that is just cool you got the spots cool design on the shell how it just kind of pokes up these guys just so look like they stepped off the screen I can't gush enough over these guys if, if you don't have a set don't feel bad because GameStop is going to be selling these in February so don't pay any any crazy prices out there just just be patient you will not get some of the accessories but you will get the turtles eventually and that's good on NECA for doing that I'm happy that they will be offered to the general public and you know just gotta wait a little bit guys not a big deal so on to Raph his accessories here got a little tongue tied there if you couldn't tell just kind of was trying to vamp so he's got the size kind of dingy metal on those let me just get these in front of my hand so my camera focuses but yeah looks just like on screen got that wrapping around I never understood why his size had that wrapping all the way on the the uh, other sides of it the prongs I don't know all the you know areas of a side but they do look good and you can store them right on his belt he's got little spaces for those this looks just like it does on screen I do like that his teeth are open because you can kind of simulate when he was uh, picking his teeth while Splinter was talking to April I can do that I can appreciate that that I can do that so getting a look at Raph here and all of these hands, I might as well show this now, all of these hands are interchangeable between everybody because everybody has kind of the same color skin. You just pop it off, you just pop it on there. Very easy. And the hands are actually of a softer plastic. It is very pliable, so it grips the weapons pretty good, but it uh, flexes and bends not too much, not too little. I like that. So anyway, back up to Raph and his, uh, his face. Oh, I... I, I can't, I honestly went and looked at the movie, and I really wish they could make a Casey Jones just because of that exchange that they had in the park. I'm getting nostalgic here. I'm sorry. It's one of my favorite movies, but Raph is definitely PO'd. Look at that face. Man, I mean, there, there's a point of me, that, there's a part of me that wanted interchangeable heads, but honestly, these are fine. There's not a lot of difference between the body and the shells. That's maybe got a little bit more damage on his. As he should. And he's the leader of the crew. No, he's not. He's not. They got that so wrong in that movie. <laughs> Was it Cutting Crew? Yeah. We T U R T L E Power. T U R T L E Power. Okay. Sorry. You're going to go play that song now. So, uh, last up is Leo. Leo's got a nice pair of katanas. These are really nice. I mean, if Mikey is my favorite turtle, Leo is my favorite out of this line. Got the nice wrapping on there. Spin around. The great guards there. These are awesome, and they just go right into these sheaths in the back. And let's get a look at Leo's face. I do have a... Leo kind of has that Forrest Whitaker eye going just a little bit and he's kind of like what you can see he is putting up his eyebrow at something probably something Raph said he does have a distinctive bandolier as well with the two straps and the ones that go here on the back you do have his sheaths which look really nice I love all the little threads and ties all over here that looks really good you can actually I don't know can you get his hand um, Kinda, I, 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 I like being able to pose him if he can get his swords out, but honestly, if anybody has done this ever before, you know it's hard to get a sword out of your back like that. So what can I say? I was a kid once. I, I had swords and I kept doing that because all of my heroes would put them over their backs. But 
either way, Leo is definitely my favorite turtle out of this bunch. Not my overall favorite Ninja Turtle, but he's he's the best one. I like his weapon. I like the storage. And he just looks really good. So that is the TMNT. Let's go over the articulation. Down at the bottom, you've got some ankle articulation going back and forth. The peg is in the foot, just like Marvel Legends, so you can spin it around there. And you get pretty far on that uh, ankle articulation. The knees are double jointed, but as with the arms, you have these, uh, the padding in the way, the knee guards. So you're going to be limited on what you can do with these. Also, as my buddy Brandon was warning me, be careful with the joints. Maybe give them a little bit of heat to free them up because you don't want to break any of these and have to be waiting until February to replace them. So you got double knee joint and you can get pretty far with that. A little bit, little bit over 90 degrees. As you can see, the knee pad is stretching along with it. And I do like how this covers up the joint very well. The legs can go forward. Uh, you're going to be limited on the back just because of the shell. But you can actually get these down. If you see, the joint actually moves down a little bit. So you can get a full Van Damme on these guys. That's pretty good. There is um, torso articulation in here. It's covered up by the mid part of the shell. Well, the, what's covered up by the shell. But as you can see, you can get Mikey on a ball joint. You can go back and forth a little bit. There's not much there, but it is there. The arms are on a universal joint. You can go up and down, about that far up. Full circle around. Twist at the bicep. Got to watch where that knee pad goes, or that elbow pad goes. And like I say, you do have double jointing at the elbows, but that's about as much as you're going to get out of there. I'm not willing to go too much further with mine. You got a twist at the hand, and they are hinged uh, back and forth on that axis. And the head is on a very nice ball joint as well. You can get some, you can get some pretty good expressions out of there. Down, up, down, up, onto the side. So yeah, very poseable guys um, for what, for how they look. Very nicely done. Uh, size comparison wise. I have a standard kind of Marvel Legends figure here. Yes, Captain Marvel, because Captain Marvel will be coming out. These guys are a bit taller than the uh, six-inch scale figures. So, you know, they're a little bit bigger. Maybe you'll have, you know, a team up between these guys. You know, maybe the turtles are... The turtles really should be shorter if they're going to be in this five-inch scale, but they're not. They're, they're uh, in the 6.5 to 7-inch scale. So there's uh, how much they are. Where's my tape measure? It's right here. Specifically, let's go ahead and measure Mikey since he is our guy here. So these guys come in right at about, uh, yeah, right about 6.5. I think Mikey's the shortest one. I think Donnie's actually the tallest. Let me just humor me here, guys. Humor me. Yeah! As I pinch my finger. Uh, no, they're about 6.5. So, yeah. Anyway, final thoughts on these guys. They're really good. If you're able to pick up a set, hang on. This just it doesn't feel right. There we go. Um, if you want to procure a set of these, <laughs> eBay's out there. But or you can or you can just wait a few months until GameStop gets theirs in. I if you are a Turtles fan, I highly recommend picking up a set of these guys. They're just so good. I can't wait to put them on my shelf. Actually, next to my Classics Turtles, I think they're going to fit in my, my uh, Classic Animated Turtles. I think they're going to fit right in. I might post some pictures on my Instagram, and you can follow me on my Instagram, at JasonTheX, or on Twitter, at JasonTheX. And, uh, of course, like this video and subscribe to SCNS Live for more of this nerdy, nerdy content that we do. And until next time, guys, thank you for joining us. My name is Jason the X, and I'll catch you later.